My name is Mike, and this is the hot seat. This is my final word on this Sanja Fluke nonsense, which I've had enough of. I gave you people 24 hours to come up with the true ratio between women that use birth control pills for pregnancy prevention versus other means, and nobody answered it. <clears throat> I also asked, how does the morning after pill work in the prevention of cysts, cervical, and ovarian cancers, nobody answered it. Then I give the explanation that insurance companies presently not covering birth control. If they're forced to, they're going to raise the premiums. Then I get, well, how do you know? Well, I'm in the insurance financial services area. How do we know you are? How do I know the sky is blue? You just don't want to accept the facts. Then I got some broad telling me to get a vasectomy. Because I said, close your legs if you can't afford it. Let me explain something to you left-wing entitlers. I had two children, and I paid their way. I didn't ask for the government to go tell my boss to give me handouts. I took care of them myself. From the time they were in diapers to the time they went to college. I took care of them. So as far as me having my nuts clip, screw you, lady. Because I don't have to. Because I pay my way. Then I had some other buffoon say, well, how do you know it's going to go to the ordinary taxpayers? It only goes, it, the premium would only go up to people that buy into insurance. Who buys into insurance? People that work. What do people that work do? Pay taxes! Idiot! So, it does fall on the ordinary taxpayer. Then I have some other idiot saying to me, Do you want more unwanted pregnancies? Do you want to pay for those? We've had people on welfare for decades. And I don't see any reduction in welfare recipients. And I don't see any reduction in welfare babies. So your argument, like your brain, is crap. Then I've had some other guy, Cren. You're committing slander. You shouldn't do that. Up yours. If women have the right to do whatever they want with their bodies, and then ask the government to pay for it, I've got a First Amendment right to call anybody I want to call anything they want, as you people have chosen to do to me. And I even laid out an open challenge to any of you that want to come to my neck of the woods and say what you got to say to my face. And some punk answered it, and I told them where and when to meet me, never got a response. So kiss my ass, cowards. Kiss my ass. All of you. Well, the insurance company should do this. 
insurance company to do that? You don't even know. You don't even know what should be done and what is being done. Shut up. You have no clue. Nothing. How many of you morons are earning a paycheck? And I know exactly who you people are. Your parents probably said, oh, Ted Kennedy's great. Wants to give everything away to everybody. I love Ted Kennedy. Sure. And you're following in the footsteps. You make me want to puke. I know more about life than all of you dirtbags put together. And I've got a feeling the most of you morons that bashed me on this subject are probably under 25 years old. Well, you know what? Life is going to punch you in the face when you're about 30. And then you're going to learn the reality that when you punks get a full-time job and are ready to have a family and the government is sucking 40 to 45 percent out of your paycheck and you won't be able to buy crap you're gonna be bitching and moaning so easy for you maggots to cry now you're probably living home with mommy and daddy sucking off of their tit you sit in your little room you tweet all day, you watch YouTube all day. Yeah, you're watching me, baby. That's right. Every day. And then you're bitching and moaning. Get out and get a job. How about that? Learn what's going on in the real world, pal. All of you make me sick. You couldn't take the challenge question because you know I'm right. All you left-wing Obaminoids, you just shoot your mouths off, but then when you put the test and you're asked to come up with real numbers, real facts, and real statistics, you just stick to name-calling because that's all you got. And I'm sure most of you, your hero was Al Gore. And when he was exposed that global warming was bullshit, he's hiding in a hole somewhere, and none of you jackoffs are talking about global warming anymore. Because it was crap. This birth mandate is crap. This Sandra fluke broad just made a name for herself, because that's how this country works. When you're a shithead, you get to go on TV. I'm done with you, maggots. I don't care what you have to say anymore. Kiss my ass. This is the hot seat.